Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to find the median value of a random variable. Suppose that x is a random variable with pdf f of x defined to be 0 if we are between negative infinity and 10 and lambda over x cubed if x is bigger than or equal to 10. We want to find m such that the probability that x is less than or equal to m is equal to one half. And we can note that the probability that x is less than or equal to m is a half. This automatically implies that the probability that x is strictly bigger than m is also equal to one half. So half the time x is less than m and half the time x is greater than m, this m is called the median value of the random variable x. So, to find this value m, we first need to find the parameter lambda in our problem. We know that the integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx is equal to 1 by definition of pdfs. And this tells me, therefore, that the integral, the pdf only cares for values of x which are larger than 10. So I will have a 10 to infinity of lambda over x cubed dx. And so this integral will be lambda, and an antiderivative of x to the negative 3 is negative 2 x to the negative 2 power, and this is in the denominator, so we put a 1 over negative 2. We will evaluate this from 10 up to infinity, and it's clear that when we plug in infinity, we're going to get 0. So when we plug in 10, that will be the bottom limit, so I'm going to have a lambda over 2, and then I will have a 1 over 10 squared, so that will be 1 over 100. And this has to be equal to 1. So from this we see we have 200, so lambda has to be equal to 200. So we can update what our PDF is. So now our PDF can be updated. We can say this value of lambda over here is 200. And so now we can compute the probabilities. The probability that x is less than or equal to m. We want this to be equal to 1 half, so I cannot plug in any value that's lower than 10. So we'll say that what this is, is this will be the integral from 10 up to m of lambda, which we know to be 200, 200 over x cubed dx. This has to be 1 half. And so if we do this antiderivative over here, we will see, so if we focus on this antiderivative, we will have 200 and then negative 1 over 2, x to the negative 2 power from 10 to m has to be 1 half. So, of course, this will give us a negative 100, so this will simplify over here to just negative 100. So this equation tells me that negative 100 m to the negative 2 power. And then if I plug in the bottom limit, I'm going to get a plus. Now I'll have a negative, I'll have a 100, and then I'll plug in 10, and that will just give me 1. So because I'll have 100, and I'll have 1 over 100, 1 over 100, so that'll just give me 1. So I'll have a plus 1 is equal to 1 half. So solving this equation, we have 100 m to the negative 2, by putting this on the other side of the equation, is equal to 1 half, which tells me that m to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 200, or equivalently, that m squared is equal to 200. So if m is equal to the square root of 200, which is the same as 10 
square root 2, this will be the median value of the random variable x. Thank you very much.